Hey, traders, this is Scott Barkley with Proact Traders. Uh, I want to take a minute to uh, talk to you about a, uh, a phenomenon in the market that will really help you trading. But the little story is when we were starting out trading, and like most traders, uh, you know, we followed indicators, all right, because that's what everybody did. Nobody knew how to trade. They just followed the indicators, hoped they'd learn to trade. And, um, you know, one of the things we kept doing was we followed the indicator. Indicator turns said buy, buy. We get enter, enter into it, and uh, then it immediately go against us and stop us out, or we'd have to pull our stop. And you know, we were lucky to make it through, and then it then took off where we were, but because we were upside down uh, in that first trade, we were scared to make the second trade. And uh, so we didn't maximize any of the opportunities we had. And it was uh, a long time till we figured out uh, we're buying at the wrong place, right? So. You know, the, the, the big situation is, well, how do I learn to buy at the right place? Okay, I talk to traders all the time who are getting constantly getting stopped out and they go, you know, I'm putting a 35 pip stop on my trade, man, and I'm, I'm getting stopped out, so I'm going to increase my stop to 50 and that'll stop. Well, their thought process is I'm, gonna, I'm actually decreasing my risk. Instead of 35 pips, they got 55 pips in, in uh, um, uh, risk, okay? So what's the problem? The problem is their entry. All right. So uh, uh, if you buy at the bottom and you sell at the top, uh, you're going to be in great shape. Uh, but most beat traders uh, buy at the top and sell at the bottom. All right. So this list lesson is going to help you uh, solve that problem. And uh, take a look. Hey, traders, uh, this lesson is on uh, how to use fractals in the market. OK, so uh, the Forex market, uh, by the way, doesn't trend. It uh, typically ranges. How, and that's where a lot of traders get messed up. They think it's trending when in reality, it's just doing a channel. So uh, as you can see up here, I got a little Romanesco broccoli in front of up here. And uh, you can see quickly that um, we've got uh, it's what we call fractals, okay? So this whole thing is uh, this right here, right? But as we go smaller, we get miniature versions of that right there, see? So you get a miniature version, you go even smaller, you get one like that, go smaller, you get one like that, and you keep going down and you get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, fractal, right? <clears throat> now, how does that relate to trading, okay? So let me pull this up here. And uh, this is uh, uh, Elliott Waves. This is from Prechter. All right. So in the big picture, you know that the big boys are always trying to do uh, one thing, and that's to keep the move going. All right. But unfortunately, they can't always do that, right? But that doesn't mean that they still don't use the fractal nature of the market. So in the big picture here, they're trying to do a one, two, three, four, five, which would be a trend with an A, B, C afterwards, and then they can do a one, two, three, four, five, or they can continue this down to the downside with five waves, all right? So, but inside each one of these waves right here, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and an A, B, C, which sets up the next wave, one, two, three, four, five. And this is why when they're ranging, they got a range here, right? we could still be doing five fractal waves down on a lower time frame, 240 or a 60. And by the way, this goes all the way down to a tick chart. Right. Now, this is one reason why the pullback is your friend. So in order for them to keep the wave going, uh, one, two, the pullback is what accomplishes the three, and then the pullback accomplishes the five. And see, these are opportunities. The pullbacks are opportunities. Now, for most traders, it's not an opportunity. It's your enemy because you're buying at the top or you're selling at the bottom. All right. So let's go take a look and see what this looks like in a real chart. So uh, right here in the pound New Zealand, we'll just leave it here. All right. Uh, so you can see here that we are just doing a little range here. Let me put the range on. You can see it. All right. There we go. All right. So you can see here very clearly that even though we're in a range right here, we're doing one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, because they did five waves, they do a head and shoulders to get the reversal done. And now we're in a one, two, ABC. All right. So there. All right. So what, what, what would we anticipate? OK, well, as long as we stay above the zero line here, when we continue, when we finish the A, B, C, we'd look for a bounce back to the other side. See that? All right, so see how these five waves showed up here? Why did that happen? Because of the A, 
B, C over here, right? Why do they do an A, B, C over here? Because they did five waves over here. All right, let's go take a look at that and you'll see it, all right? Now, it takes a while to see them. You gotta train your brain to do it, okay? So uh, here we go, we got a one. Hold on, let me get the drawer up here. We got a one, two, three, four, five. Pretty nasty looking one. That's because the trend is your friend till it's bending, but they still did five waves over there, right? So you can see how they do this, all right? You go back here in the past, of course, sideways moves aren't doing anything, all right? But here you can clearly see the A, B, C that set up the one, two, three, four, five. And then just to draw that for you, A, B, C. So what's next? One, two, three, four, five to the upside, see? All right, what, what was happening over here? Well, we got five waves, I'm pretty sure. I just keep on doing this and you'll see. All right, so this uh, this part comes off the bottom here, so that's the last of the down move, so the first wave starts here, all right? So you got a, a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five wave to the top, see that? Makes a turn, A, B, C. One, two, three, four, five. See, over and over and over again, the market's going to do this, all right? Now, it's not trending. Don't forget that. It's not trending. These are nothing more than channels. But because the market is fractal, that gives you the opportunity to understand where you are, okay? So let's just take this example over here, all right? So notice we had an ABC here, which set up the up move, all right? So once we take out the uh, this top right here. Okay. So that starts up one. Here's one. Here's two. That's the pullback. Notice it close and reverses there, but then they make three. Now, if you're on top of that, right, you know that, that there's your opportunity. You see, our opportunities are always unsustainable moves inside sustainable moves, unsustainable moves inside sustainable moves. Let me show you the sustainable move. Right. That is sustainable. See, this move is sustainable. These moves inside here are not. That's why they have to do the pullback and the pullback becomes my friend, which tells me that I'm able to buy there and take advantage of that opportunity, All right? Very simple. All right, so uh, there you go. Hope that helps you. Uh, well, one more thing I'll just show you here. Notice that in, even in these little waves, they did an A, B, C. They did an A, B, C. Right there, see, set up this move, set up this move. Pull back is your friend, pull back is your friend, all right? Now the pullback's not your friend if you bought at the top. Now you gotta live through that or get stopped out. You buy at the top, you gotta live through that or get stopped out, see? So knowing where you are, counting waves, uh, even though they're fractal, uh, will help your trading. Uh, how many you gotta do? Well, do 300 and you'll probably get it, all right? Uh, hey, uh, sure like to uh, check us out. So uh, if you get a chance, check us out.